This is the solution to quiz eight. So the first exercise is an improper integral. It's improper because of this infinite limit. To make a sketch of what's being asked, this is x. <coughs> Then when x is 0, the function takes on some positive value here, and then decays quickly, but is always positive. We're being asked to find all of the area It is under this curve all the way to infinity. So this region, this region is improper because you can't draw a circle around it because this pointy part extends all the way to infinity. So what we're actually going to do to make it proper, to make this region proper, is we'll truncate it. So what we'll do is we'll say, OK, we're, we're going to take the same function except now we're going to truncate the region at some value x is b, say. And then we're only going to integrate from 0 to b. And now this region is proper because you can draw a circle around it. And after we do that, we'll compute the limit as the fence post b goes to infinity. OK. <clears throat> so <clears throat> the integral from 0 to b of 60 over 5x plus 3 squared dx. And so, not to stress the point too much, but the reason why you have to do this, you have to go to a finite uh, position, is that in the integral that was originally uh, asked, you cannot use the fundamental theorem of calculus. You cannot use an antiderivative uh, to do this. However, this one, this is a proper integral. So you can use the fundamental theorem here. OK, so in doing that, we'll need a substitution. 5x plus 3, so that du is 5 dx, so du over 5 is dx, u evaluated at 0 is 3, u evaluated at b is 5b plus 3. <coughs> so making that substitution, it would be integral 3 to 5b plus 3 of 60 divided by u squared and then plus du over 5. So the 60 over 5 can come out as 12 and then integral 3 to 5b plus 3 u to negative 2 du. So now we can use uh, the power rule. So that would be uh, 12 u to negative 1 divided by negative 1 
evaluated from 3 to 5b plus 3. <coughs> so I'll write u to negative 1 as 1 over u. And I'll spend this negative 1 to switch the order of evaluation. So that would be 12 multiplied by 1 over u. And then evaluated from 5b plus 3 to 3. So that would be 12 multiplied by a third minus 1 over 5b plus 3. So this is the area that's in the truncated region. So now we're going to let b go to infinity. And the limit as b goes to infinity of 12 multiplied by a third minus 1 over 5b plus 3. Well, 12 goes to 12, a third goes to a third, and then 5b plus 3 is going to infinity, so 1 over that is going to 0. So this is 12 multiplied by a third minus 0, which is 4. And that's the answer to the exercise. <clears throat> so for number two, we're given a money flow and then asked to find the three things we're always asked to find. Okay, so part A. Part A, uh, the formula here is integral zero to big T, f of little t, d little t. So that's what we need to evaluate. So in this exercise, that would be integral 0 to 10, because it says 10 years. And then f of t, 30, exponential 0 0.2 t dt. So that would be 30. And then exponential 0 0.2 t divided by 0 0.2 from 0 to 10. 0 0.2 is a fifth. Division by a fifth is multiplication by 5, so that's 150. And then exponential 0.2t. Evaluate from 0 to 10. So that's 150. And then 0 0.2 times 10 is 2, so e squared minus 1 and then evaluated to the nearest cent. That would be 150 times exponential squared minus 1. Nine five eight point three six. Okay, part B, <clears throat> the present value of the money flow. In this case, the formula is integral 0 to big T, f of little t, exponential negative r little t dt. So that's the formula. In this exercise, that is 0 to 10, 30 exponential 0.2t, so that's f of t, and now the rate is 5%, which as a decimal is 0 0.05, so that'd be exponential of negative 0.05t dt. <coughs> Performing an algebraic combination, that'd be 0 to 10, and then 30, exponential of 0 0.15t dt. So that would be 30 exponential 
0.15t divided by 0 0.15 from 0 to 10 and then 30 divided by 0.15 is 200 so that would be 200 and then exponential 1.5 minus 1 So evaluating that, oops, evaluating that <coughs> to the nearest cent, 200 times exponential 1.5 minus 1 is 696. Point three four. <laughs> I said I said three four and then somehow I wrote three five. Three four. <clears throat> okay. So then part C the formula is exponential little uh, R big T integral 0 to big T, f of little t, exponential negative r little t, d little t. So that's the formula, and that looks the worst of all the three formulas. However, it is just uh, the previous answer uh, times exponential r big t. So that is exponential of uh, what? So <clears throat> 0 0.05 times 10 and then copy this answer 200 exponential 1.5 minus 1 <clears throat> so multiply that so that would be exponential of half times 200 times exponential of 1.5 minus 1. And then to the nearest cent, that is 1148.5 That's the answer to part two. <clears throat> part three, evaluate all second partials, okay? <clears throat> so that is uh, the x partial. That would be 9x squared y squared plus 5, the y partial is <clears throat> 6 x cubed y plus 20 y to 4, the x x partial, that is the x partial of the x partial, that would be 18x y squared. The yy partial, that is the y partial of the y partial, that would be 6x cubed plus 80y cubed. So fxy. That is the y partial of the x partial, which is to say, take the x partial, x squared, 9x squared, y squared, plus 5, and compute the y partial of that. So that is 
18x squared y fyx that is the x partial of the y partial so 6 x cubed y plus uh, 20 <coughs> y to 4, the x partial of that, that would be 18 x squared y. And these are the same. And that's the answer.